okay now let us talk about generics and why do we need generics actually so it is basically for elimination of cast after using generics type casting is not required let us see with an example first we have already created this list implementation class in our last lecture wherein we have created one error list and adding the integer values here right now i want to get the first value of the list how do i do that al dot get get function i'm using and passing the index 0 so it will get me the first value and i want to store this value in an integer variable say int i okay now it will throw an error why because this i cannot convert this is of type object is of type object and i am trying to convert into int now i need to type cast it i need to type cast it because there is a type mismatch here now this is okay now I require a type casting when there was there were no generics now i'll apply generics how will because i am specifying it now that it is only of type integer i'm making a restriction that list can only be of type can contain only integer values okay now when i have put a restriction that it can contain only integer values here so this object is now of type int i need not type cast it and this is called unboxing also we have done wrapper classes if you remember that integer is a wrapper class and this is a primitive now this integer from here is getting converted into a primitive so this is called unboxing now this is about like we need not require typecasting using the if we use generics now other advantage is that type checking a java compiler applies strong type checking to generic code and issues errors if the code violates type safety so fixing compile time error errors is obviously easier than fixing runtime errors now supposing i by mistake what i do is i add one more element and that is uh, of type string that is of type string oh sorry hmm. this is of type string now it won't be able to add because i have already told that the list can be of only of type integers but earlier if there were no generics if we don't use generics it can add any value but i want only integer values to be added so it won't give me any compilation error that okay this should not be because compiler does not know that i want to add integers i need to specify and that i can use that uh, using generics using uh, giving a restriction that i want this list to have integer values only so this is again an advantage of generics okay now let us see one more example using stack class how to use generics now we have a stack you know what is a stack stack is a data structure which follows lifo implementation means last in first out that if you have piles of plates kept then the last one you put is the last one you take out uh, first one you take out so that is last one last in and the first out so what um, you do what implementation stack uh, you use is push the elements and then pop those elements when you want to remove we have used one pop function and push function is for adding the element to the list so we have used error list for creating the stack and it is of type string here we have given this use generics that it is of type string the stack values will contain string values and now this class is perfectly okay that we are adding string values to the stack right but now what happens is that if we want to write stack class for storing integer values or double values or any other types then we have to write a different class for each type isn't it the code for all these will be almost similar identical and this is really causing redundancy so we'll have to define generic stack that can be used to define stacks of any type of objects so this is the use real use here so what we'll do is now we'll replace specific type string with a type parameter t and we will add this type parameter 
to the name of the class also like this. So we'll replace everything here with type parameter t so that we can pass anything here. Okay, so this uh, everything with string will be replaced by type parameter t. This function also will have this. Okay, now I want this also to hmm, this I want. Now when I create an object, I want to have a string here. Then I will make a string stack. And now if I want to create a stack of integers, then I'll use a stack integer s1 is equal to new stack integer. So I can create multiple stacks using the same program rather than writing the different programs for different types. So this is the real advantage of generics. So we have used this type parameter here, here in place of string. So it can take either a string or an integer or a float or a double anything. Okay, now we'll be talking about types of generics in our next uh, lecture, generic type class or interface we have seen, generic type method or constructor and generic type arrays.